Information is everything. We are information. From how we communicate to what we're made of. The human body is an information processor containing six million bits. The human genome does not carry information. It is information. Information has never been writ so small. The book of life in the eye of a needle. As mankind developed, we found ways to communicate with each other. The drums. With them, people could communicate across a hundred miles in a single hour. People used flags, smoke signals, flashing mirrors. But nothing equaled the speed of the drumbeat. Communication did not begin with just sound. 30,000 years ago, the earliest form of communication was images. From the image came the symbol. From the symbol came the word. Words spread as fast as a virus. The alphabet was the founding technology of information. Since then, we found new ways to communicate. In China, they developed the most complex writing system that has ever evolved. It included 50,000 symbols. It took until 1604 for the first dictionary to be written by Robert Cordray. It contained 2,500 words. Dictionary was not one of them. By 1928, the dictionary had 414,825 words. In 1989, the book filled 20 volumes and weighed nearly a stone. A new speed of communication was invented with the telegraph. With just four signs, a dot, a dash, the gap between letters, and the gap between words, Morse created a code for the entire English language. The telephone brought women into the workforce as switchboard operators. As well as elevators, telephones made skyscrapers possible. Messages could pass much faster through buildings, reducing the need for messengers. This worked perfectly until one operator got measles. In fear of an epidemic, each telephone was given a number. In 1948 came the bit. The bit joined the inch, pound, quarter, and minute as a unit of measure, a measure of information. The human genome equals one gigabyte of information. In 1998, Google began with one terabyte of information. Today, information is overwhelming. We've all met the devil of information overload, the busy signal, the dead link, the computer virus. And the PowerPoint presentation. The Library of Congress preserves every book, piece of music, picture, website, and tweet. In February 2010, it housed 160 terabytes of information. For more information,